Real fam, I'm back. So today I'm going to do something completely random. I'm going to talk about something I've always wanted to do. Something I've always wanted to experience ever since I became an adult. Well, even more before I became an adult. I'm not saying. This is something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to live in an RV. Now, prior to becoming an adult, I didn't know you could actually live full time in an RV. When I was a child, all I knew about RVs was that you take them camping for the most part and you go and go to a campground and you just camp. I've always wanted to go camping. As a young child growing up in a bustling New York City, I was fascinated with the country life. I was fascinated with, you know, people who had the quiet life, the quiet, the country. You know, they had the farm, they had the animals, they had the peace, the quiet, the trees, all that good stuff. I was fascinated with that. I did a video about that like probably two years ago, explaining more in depth about um, my childhood adventures. But yeah, I have always, always wanted to go camping. Became an adult, or when I um, got married, pretty much. That's when I started realizing, wait a minute, people are actually living in these things. Like full time. Like it's not a vacation, it's, it's their lifestyle. They constantly live in these things. And they're thriving. And they're saving money and they're having fun and they're connecting with nature. I have always wanted to do that. Now, of course, the reason why we didn't get to do that, of course, we didn't have the money, it's obvious. <laughs> Hello, student loans. It's one of those dream deferred type situations. Now, that's not to say that we'll never get a chance to do it, but we can't do it with our kids. Me and my husband both have always wanted to attempt that RV lifestyle just because we're the type of people that wouldn't mind actually going off grid. We wouldn't mind that type of life. We talk about all that stuff before we got married and it's just fascinating. We talk about farming life, we talk about you know off grid life, having our own power, having our own food, blah blah blah, all that jazz. We've always wanted to attempt that type of thing, that's just who we are. So I've always wanted to try living in an RV full time. But again, we can't afford that thing. Even, you know, we look into like used RVs and whatnot. We are nowhere near ready for any of that. You know, we got financial obligations here that we can't just up and leave. Plus, you know, getting these kids in, in that lifestyle and then we have to learn along with dragging five kids along and then learn how to live full time in the RV. <sighs> mm -mm. It's, it's just not possible right now. But again, there's always something I wanted to do. It's always something we've wanted to embark on. Now, like I said, that's not to say I'll never get to do it. Maybe I won't get to do it until I'm older. Maybe I won't get to do it until I'm in my 40s or 50s or, you know, sometime when the kids are grown and they're out doing their own thing. Because, of course, the best thing about RVs, as we see, if you guys have been watching other RVers, if you guys have been watching people who live in these things full time, like really people, if you really want to be debt free, I mean, well, yeah, debt free, if you really want to be debt free, if you really want to be free, ish, <laughs> you know, then living in an RV is one good way to do it. And that's why we always considered it. We always considered it ever since our oldest was a baby. You know, we talked about it, we dreamed about it, you know, we like reenacted some things and just, just wish, you know, just the most thing we just wish. You know, having an adventurous lifestyle like that would be phenomenal for me, you know, being out in nature all the time. You know, of course, there's pros and cons to it, but, you know, to me, the pros outweigh the cons heavily. Saving money is a great thing to do, a great way of going about it. You don't have to pay rent because we know rent is a killer. <sighs> Y'all, rent, rent. Nobody can save a goddamn thing because of rent. And we know this. We know this, man. I know this, man. This is one of the main reasons why I've always wanted to live in an RV. It helps you become debt free. It helps you be so free. You can just drive wherever. Um, you can park in safe places. You can stay the night at um, RV camps or whatnot. You can stay at hotels. You can park in hotels. You can park at truck stops. You know, you can just live your life and just bounce wherever. But <sighs> dragging kids along is not that easy starting off right now and our oldest is 12 so we got 12 year old on down and we would have to get them all used to it and stuff 
I, it, it just wouldn't work. <laughs> but you know, I, I still go on dream. You know, I still like to imagine things. And I just felt like talking about this because, you know, I just think living in an RV is so damn cool. It's just it's phenomenal. And it's a great way to get out of debt. It's a great way to save. It's a great way to keep the family close together. It's a great way to stay active. Y'all, staying active. I mean, active as in getting off your ass. Like when you're, <laughs> y'all, you don't understand. When you're out there in that RV, you're constantly moving. You're gonna be constantly moving in that thing because you're always outside. You know, some RVs, you know, they have those RVs where they open and close, they have the little slide things where they open and close, it makes it bigger and smaller. Um, it's, it's, to me, it's just fascinating. It's just fascinating. And like I said, you're always up and down. You're always up and down in that lifestyle. You can go park at parks, you can get your workout in any park you want. You just have so much freedom. And you're never bored. You know, the main thing you gotta worry about is like food, and food storage, and like hooking up to water and sewage and stuff like that. You know, but that's not really hard once you find somewhere to settle and then you can move wherever you wanna move. You can move from state to state. If you get tired of a certain state, you can go stay there. I mean, you go somewhere else. Or you can go even park your RV at a family member's house if they let you and use their amenities for a while. I mean, the sky's the limit. Seriously. It really is. If I was able to do that, man, I sure as fuck would. <laughs> it beats this life. <laughs> it beats rent. But yeah, like I said, being active is one of my main top priorities I wish I could do. Because we would always be active. I wouldn't have to worry about being sedentary. I wouldn't have to worry about my kids sitting down too long. I wouldn't have to worry about them being bored because there's people everywhere they can play with. There's constant there's different types of sports. There's different types of trees and flowers they can see every day. There's different types of bugs, animals, anything they could experience, you know. And then we, as far as vacation, we're on a constant vacation. And if we wanted to go on an actual vacation, we actually have the money to save for it. Because the RV cost is way lower than actually living in an apartment or house. Think about that. It's hella lower. I know it is. We have done our calculations and we have done much research over the years. Much. This is not some fly by night thing I just thought about. We've been thinking about this, like I said, ever since our youngest was a baby. But again, life just handed us a bag of lemons and we're just like, oh fuck. Yeah, we can make lemonade out of it, but guess what? The shit's still sour. We have no sugar. Yay! So that topic is very intriguing to me. But you know what? Um, like I said, I might just have to wait till I'm older. <laughs> you know, it's all good. Nothing's stopping my kids from starting that journey early on because they'll know about it. Nothing's stopping us from doing it when the kids are all grown out of the house. And, you know, you never know where life can go. You just never know sometimes. You just never know. But I do know I'm fucking tired of rent. <laughs> but, yeah. I just want some adventure in my life and one day we will get there you know we will get there because we all deserve it we all deserve some type of adventure we all deserve to live a little free for a while take a little break take a load off take you know something something new and intriguing that will get you closer to mother earth i would love that <laughs> so yeah i just felt like talking about that tonight so let me know your opinions in your comments. I mean, in your comments. Let me know your opinions down below in the comments. Let me know how you feel about this. Let me know if you ever want to try RVing. Are you doing RVing now? Would you ever consider it? Do you think it's too much work? Let me know your your opinions down below. And make sure you give me a like. Please like this video. Please. Yes, you. You in the white shirt and you too over there in the green. You know better. You know better. You're supposed to like the video. I hope you guys are having a great of a day as I am. And I also hope you guys have a great day, second, hour, month, minute, and decade. Thank you for watching. Peace out.